Hello everyone. My name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial we will learn about the statement create a table or the command create table that is how to create a table in a database. So SQL create table statement is used to create a table in the database. Uh, so before that let's understand like what is a table so tables are collective data that comprises of rows or tuples it has defined columns given during the creation so we can say that data is logically organized just like a spreadsheet or an excel sheet so that is what is the meaning of a table <coughs> now this is the syntax how you can create uh, the table so create table the name of the table then braces column name and the data type so as many columns uh, you can give along with the data types so of course there is a limit uh, I think it's uh, 1024 columns uh, that you can create or give in a table right so in a couple of uh, minutes we'll see how we can create a table called Rahul QA labs uh, it is having so and so columns and uh, we will be using a Microsoft SQL server as a database right so the command I have already uh, written out here like create table create table uh, Rahul QA labs ID uh, I have taken these four columns like ID uh, integer type then employee name varchar uh, designation 255 of varchar and city so these are the four columns uh, with the help of which I'll uh, create this particular table right and if you come down you know we will see uh, uh, some other operations as well on a table right so you can delete a table you can uh, duplicate a table uh, you can rename the table right and uh, you can view the properties of a table so this is a small um, a command with the help of which you can uh, you know view the table properties and the dependencies of the table right so uh, let's go to our uh, database and let's try to uh, create a table called Rahul QA Labs. So for that, I have already installed the Microsoft SQL Server. And uh, if you want to understand like how to install that, uh, that for that I've already created a video. Let's try to connect to this particular you know server name. Okay. So uh, these are the objects we can see out here. So database security objects so in the last video we have seen you know how to create a database students one right so today we will see how to create a table okay so let's copy this command and put it out here right so select this and click on execute right so it says commands completed successfully and uh, so and so is the completion time and uh, the timestamp right now uh, how to check whether your table is created or not so there are two ways you can do a select star from the particular table and uh, if the table exists uh, it will display you out here otherwise you can see it from the object explorer as well on the left hand side uh, let me check it out here master tables right so uh, it has created uh, the table in the master uh, database with the particular name as Rahul QA Labs right now uh, let's do a select star from right click on execute and yes so your table is created but it is empty it does not have any data out here right so this is you know a basic uh, uh, the command to create a table you can give uh, the columns uh, by you know clicking uh, and putting the columns out here as many columns that you want as per your requirement and the table will get created right so uh, let's see uh, what are the properties of this table so on the left hand side go here and click on right properties right so these are some properties of uh, this particular table right so all the details the object created and if you see the general permissions so the schema name is dbo where this table is created right then if you click on change tracking so it is false click on storage there are some storage details click on security predicates uh, so the database that has created the table is in the master database so earlier i was looking into you know that students database right 
but uh, the table got created in master database and clicking on extended properties it's blank so these are some of the you know basic properties that you can have a look on the particular table right if you uh, just open this you will see all the details out here as well so if you click on columns so these are the four columns you know that are created here right so just click on that particular id so it will give you all the details of that particular column like what is the length um, you know uh, the precision etc similarly employee name so these are the details so length is 255 then this is the designation so length is 255 so all the details of the columns you can see on the left hand side from the object explorer as well <coughs> right so uh, we created a table successfully and now we will try to do some operations on this table like if you want to rename the table uh, if you want to delete this table or you know uh, what some operations we s uh, saw here right uh, duplicating a table viewing the dependencies on the table right so uh, uh, let's see like how we can delete a table so it's very easy just you have to type a command right delete table Okay, so is this correct? Of course not, right? Because it gave you an error, right? Incorrect syntax near the keyword. Zero rows affected, completion. Okay, so uh, we were trying, we are trying to delete the table, right? So this is the command to delete the table right so when we click on a select star from Rahul Kiva labs so this is an empty table right now uh, delete command is used to uh, delete the records in the table right so since there are no records so th there is no use of uh, this particular line right so let us first try to insert any row into this particular table so this is the insert command that I have written out here you click on execute and one row is affected so now if you select the select statement you will get one of the rows right now we can use the operation delete so delete from the table table name right so one row is affected now if you select again the same command you will see nothing in the table so that is the use of you know uh, deleting uh, the records from the table and this is the uh, syntax or how you can use the delete from table right now there is another command that is called a drop table so a delete command has deleted the records on the table but the drop table it will drop the complete table from the database itself right so when you select select star from Rahul QA labs you are able to see the structure I mean the empty table right so now let's try to drop the table so when I click on drop table the command complete successfully now you will search this particular table it will throw you an error so invalid object name Rahul QA labs that means that table does not exist so let us refresh this right see on the left hand side the table is gone right so that is the difference between delete and drop right now uh, uh, again uh, we'll create the table again and I'll show you something uh, related to the duplicate uh, insertion of the records in the table, right? So execute, complete successfully. Okay, so we got the table, table is empty. Let's try to insert the record. So one row affected. Again, you select, right? Now, if I use the same insert command, will it work? So let's see what happens. So clicking on the same command again. Now it says one row is affected again. Right. So now if you select the table, you will see the same record twice. Now you may think that uh, a table cannot have duplicate records. Right. But while defining the table, we haven't uh, defined any of the columns as the primary key. Right. So that is why you are able to insert the duplicate records. Now I'll show you how you can you know avoid uh, inserting the duplicate records so let's drop the table again this time i'll define id as the primary key and i'll create the table 
right now again you select right so now let me insert again this particular record so this is inserted if you select you will see the record now again if I try to insert this record it will throw you an error violation of the primary key constraint right so cannot insert the duplicate key in the object db.rahulqlabs the duplicate key value is 1 so this is what um, I wanted to show you so that is why the statement has been terminated and the table still contains the single record that is our first record so you got the difference right so if you do not define uh, the particular constraints on the table while creating the table you will be you know able to insert the duplicate records and that is what happened uh, we have seen just now right so um, I think that's it for this particular uh, session we have uh, learned how to create a table uh, how to you know define a simple constraint like primary key on the table and uh, some operations like delete from the table and uh, dropping the table right so uh, keep learning till then uh, take care and we'll see some more uh, of the stuff in the coming sessions thank you